Okay, part C, it says, find a matrix P with integer elements such that T is P times D times P minus one, when D is a diagonal matrix. Okay, so guys, hopefully when you see this, you recognize that this is coming straight out of this formula for the power formula for a matrix, which is in the formula booklet. So this is basically the same thing, it's even the same letter P. So we're trying to find P, which is the matrix of eigenvectors and D is a diagonal matrix of eigenvalues. We don't need to find D in this question, we just need to find P. So what we need to do is find the eigenvectors. If you remember, to find the eigenvectors, we had to do this. Now guys, if you don't know what I'm doing here, you gotta go back and watch the lesson because it won't make any sense at all. But I'm gonna assume you have watched the lesson. So we're gonna do 0 0.965 minus lambda, 0 0.05, 0 0.035, and 0 0.95 minus lambda. The determinant of this must equal zero. Now we're gonna solve this, solve this equation. Well, solve, yeah, this is an equation because it's this times this minus this times this. So it's gonna be 0 0.965 minus lambda times 0 0.95 minus lambda minus 0 0.035 times 0 0.05 equals 0. Now guys, to solve this, I've already done it just to save time, but I've graphed it. You could multiply it out and find poly root finder. You can also use nsolve, but I find graphing is probably the easiest way because I don't want to have to multiply it out. And nsolve only gives me one solution, so I have to kind of look for the two solutions. nsolve would have been fine as well, to be fair, but I graphed it. So these are my two solutions, 0 0.915, because it's where it equals zero, and one, 0 0.915 and one. So lambda equals 0 0.915, and lambda equals one. So these are my two eigenvalues. Now to find the eigenvectors, we solve this equation, a x equals lambda x. This is, what, this is what eigenvalues and eigenvectors are by definition. They are the values that you, when you multiply um, a matrix by um, the eigenvector, you get the same value as the eigenvalue multiplied by that same eigenvector. Anyway, so we're gonna solve this equation. So our A is essentially our T, 965, 0 0.035, 0 0.05, and 0 0.95, right? Just this, times our X, which is our eigenvector. I'm gonna call it, I usually go with A and B, but it really doesn't matter. So let's go A and B is equal to lambda times x. So let's start with our 0 0.915 lambda. I would say that's a and b. So I could maybe say four lambda equals 0 0.915, whatever, it's no big deal. Okay, so to solve this, so I get 0 0.965a plus 0 0.05b is equal to 0 0.915a. This minus this is 0 0.05a, and subtract this 0 0.05b, but minus. So actually I have a equals minus b. So you can do whatever you want, guys. You could let b equal one, a is equal to negative one, or let b equals negative negative one or whatever, but you get an eigenvector, because the vector is a, b, so you just need any, therefore x equals, you need any vector um, parallel to this. So I could have, like you could put 10, negative 10, if you like, or uh, one negative one would probably be the easier one to do. So one negative one is an eigenvector. So that's the first eigenvector. And then we gotta do for lambda equals one. So for lambda equals one, 
same thing. Um, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to copy and paste this. But instead of 0 0.95, it's 1. So it's just equal to this. So I have 0 0.965a plus 0 0.05b is equal to a. And I get, um, okay, let's just do 0 0.05b equals 0 point zero point well it's zero three five isn't it zero three five zero point three zero three five a okay and I could multiply both of these by well hang on I could just do b I could divide by 0 0.05, could I do that? No, let's, all right, let me just multiply here, guys, by 100. So I have 5, I'll multiply both sides by 100. So I get 5b equals 3.5a, and then let's multiply both sides by 2. So I get 10b equals 7a. Okay, so the, the vector is, the vector x is, let, um, let a equal, let a equal 1, and then b, if a is 1, b is 7 over 10. Or, let's pick a nicer one than this. I'll multiply above and below by 10. So I get 10, 7. Okay, so now I have my eigenvectors. So are my, I have my eigenvectors, but P is the matrix of eigenvectors. So P, therefore P is, hang on guys, I'm just going to write it here because I've run out of space. P is equal to 1, negative 1, 10, 7. That is my, let me just put a ring around that. That is P, which is the matrix of um, eigenvectors from this matrix. Okay, hope that makes sense.